afternoon holy ghost good afternoon holy ghost good afternoon holy ghost i surrender to you i surrender to you i surrender to you take over me take over me lead me lead me guide me guide me protect me protect me bring my blessings today bring my in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. The Bible says that where two or three comes together in my name, there I am in their midst. Also this afternoon, Jesus Christ is here. The Holy Ghost is here. God Almighty is here. Angels are here. We are in the presence of God in this special service where we are believing God to bless us with the jobs of our choice salaries of our choice at the place of our choice at the conditions of our choice and we are saying that we are not going to die before our time Amen. Hallelujah Amen. Then this afternoon <laughs> When I was rushing to the service, praying, rushing to the service, I was asking God, Oh Father, it's a special service. What am I going to talk about? And the Lord gave me this message about the grace to unlock mysteries. We all need the grace to unlock mysteries so that you can stand out. The grace to solve difficult problems. The grace to, to solve problems that nobody can solve. A grace in which after when God gives it to you and he makes his grace shine upon you you definitely stand out stand out Amen. by fire by force Amen. and God is saying that it is time to stand out at the place of your working place Amen. it's time to stand up by your talent Amen. it is time to stand out by the by divine ability you know when you say that it's time to stand up by divine ability meaning that it is God who enables you to stand out Amen. God who enables you to stand out Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. Um, let us go through the word of God from the book of Daniel chapter 2 from verse number 10 Going downwards, let's just read the whole of it so that you can find out how God have moved through Daniel in his time when solution was look was was sought for and nobody could solve the problem and only Daniel God could use to bring about the solution. And let us go to the word of God from the book of Daniel chapter 2 verse number 10. The Bible says that the astrologers answered the king, There is no one on earth who, ki who can do what the king asks. Has ever asked such a thing of any magician or enhancer or astrologer? What the king asks is too difficult. No one can reveal it to the king except God. And they do not live among humans. So the decree was issued to put wise men, wise men to death. And men who were sent to look for Daniel and his friend to put them to death. When Arioch, the commander of the king's guard, 
has gone out to put to death the wise men of Babylon. Daniel spoke to him with wisdom and tact. He asked the king's official, why did the king issue such a harsh decree? Ariok then explained the matter to Daniel. He, argued, he urged to plead the mess for mercy for God of heaven concerning this mystery so that he and his friend might not be executed with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. During the night the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised God of heaven. Okay, then basically what has happened here, the king had a dream. When the king had a dream, he said to his wise men and all who were astrologers, magicians, whoever in his country, he said that, okay, tell me what I dream about. After tell me the meaning of the dream. And the Bible said that none, none of his magicians could give him and his astrologers could give him an answer. It was not something, it was something that they do not know and something that they could not solve. It was the biggest problem in Babylon. It was the biggest problem and they even said, as we read that, they are saying that no one can do, can, can solve that difficult thing that the king is asking, except God, to them, listen to me, because these are the people who are not born again. These are the people who are not saved. These are not the people who are worshiping God of Israel. That's why they are saying that except God. Because they were, they were idol worshippers. They used to believe in God. They said that, okay, I think among the men, nobody can give that such kind of an answer. But they say that only God, because they don't know, they don't know that there is God. Because the reason why God have sent the children of Israel to Babylon is also so that they can, he can introduce himself through his children in Babylon. That they may know that there is no God, but there is God who is more powerful than God. Sometimes you wonder, why are you in the midst of, in that company sometimes? in the midst of unbelievers. Why are you where you are? Sometimes, no, God has placed you where you are to be the salt. To be the salt of the earth. God has placed you where you are to reveal his power. To, so that he can introduce himself through you. That's the reason why you are where you are. As the Bible says, you are the light of the world. The Bible said, you are the light of the world. And let me tell you this. The light shines better. Better in darkness. For example, today is during the day. As it is during the day, switch on your light. It will even annoy you. You switch in the light, that light will annoy you. You think, why? There is a better light outside that light. God has provided the light. Why do I need this light? But switch on that light during the night. You will realize, oh, light shines brighter and the best in darkness. Then sometimes God has put you in that company, in that family, in that country so that you can be the light so that you can reveal the power of God I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying Amen. you are Amen. there Amen. to reveal the power of God you know they may, they may be behaving the way they are behaving they may be doing the things that they were doing because you were not there 
and the way they were doing things. That's why God sent you there. He found you appropriate to have a representative who is you there to become the light, to become the salt, to change things around. So that God, because remember how God touches places and how God does things. God touches places and changes things through his children. Through his children. You know, then that means sometimes you are the child of God. You wonder, why am I here? Amen. Why am I with these people who don't believe in God? Amen. Who doesn't trust upon God? Amen. Who don't pray the way you want them to pray? But don't forget, don't forget that you are not just anybody, you are the light of the world. Amen. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are the one who God Amen. is filled. So that Amen. whenever he want to move, he can move with you. Amen. Whenever God want to move, he can move with you. He can move with you. Amen. Then sometimes, God is not in that place until you arrive. Amen. Don't take it. Don't take yourself for granted. You carry the presence of God. You carry the name of God. Amen. You carry the power of God. Amen. Then God make you to be in that place so that through you his mighty power may be revealed. Amen. His glorious Amen. power may be revealed. Amen. Amen. And as a child of God, that's what you must know that you are not just anybody you are there for a purpose then that means sometime it is just about time in Babylon they experience God's power it is just about time God reveals sometimes you are there and it is as if things are going wrong I'm talking to somebody you are there. It is as if, as if, it seems as if things are going wrong. No, God is building a platform to reveal His power. Amen. The Bible says that it was Apostle Paul. When Apostle Paul was praying, as Apostle Paul was praying, and he was praying because there was a thorn in his flesh. The Bible Amen. says that as there was a thorn in his flesh, as he's praying, God said to Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul, you know, my grace is sufficient for you. And my power, it, 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 it the power of God shines better in trouble, in challenges. Amen. 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 Then, you know, so, sometimes, you know, some people may be wondering, where is the healing power of God? Where is the healing power of God? When they're wondering, where is the healing power of God? And, and you realize that by that particular time, God has healed everybody. Nobody is sick. And if nobody is sick, sometimes it will be so hard to see God's healing power because you're already what? You're already healed. But let come somebody who's bedridden here and we pray for that person, that person begin to stand up and walk. Amen. People will begin to see, oh, God is powerful. Amen. This man of God is anointed. But was he anointed before he healed the sick? Yes. The anointing did not come when he was healing the sick. Amen. It is just that now. When there is a place, where there is a problem, there is a place to demonstrate God's power. Amen. There is a Amen. place, there is an opportunity to demonstrate God's power. 
And you see, there is a different way to demonstrate God's power. There is no one way. Some people, they think that there is one way to demonstrate God's power. No! The way to demonstrate God's power are numerous. When you open the blind eyes, it's demonstrating God's power. When we're casting out a demon, we're demonstrating God's power. When you cause maybe your hands to shine, we're demonstrating God's power. But God's power can manifest through wisdom. You see, let's say you are at the working place. If you are at the working place, you are at the working place. You know, it is not really, if there is no one who is sick there, there is no really need for you, the power to demonstrate the power by healing. It's not really the place to do so. You are at the working place. It's not really much time to demonstrate power by casting out a demon there. But you can demonstrate power by Mm. wisdom. What I was quoting about is found in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter chapter 12, verse number 9. The Bible says that, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in, in weakness. The power of God is made manifest in weakness. When Jesus Christ healed the woman with an issue of blood, with no, the one whom no doctor could heal for 12 years, power of God shined and was made manifest in weakness. Amen. Then I'm Amen. trying to say to you, sometimes you see as if God things are falling apart, they are not. It is just time for for God to demonstrate his power. And this time, because you are there for the purpose, he wants to demonstrate that power through you. When all the scientists, all engineers, all, everyone, I don't know, in the in this field in which you work, and they try if their best and they can't do anything and you just come there you come there with god and things begin to shine Amen. amen last month in my place of work for the first time there was a certain target that they could not pass and they just say on that day the the highest turn that they they have never reached, they've reached. I said, ah, last month, the highest tonnage in the whole month, ever since they, that plant was made, they've never made that tonnage. They've been able to make it. Last year when I was there, the highest turn any diamond plant can ever make, it was the first time. Because when we come there, we come with anointing. Amen. When we come there, we come with angels. Amen. When we come there, you, you are coming with the presence of God. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. I'm saying that you are there for a purpose. Amen. You are there to demonstrate Amen. power in different ways. Amen. Amen. You know in ways that have never been explored Amen. let's say you have watched the tv you have read the bible they have said that the power of god can be demonstrated this way the power of god can be demonstrated this way you say i don't worry with god all things are possible Amen. those who are with us are more than those who are with them and you come like and say that greater is he that's within me than he that is in the world. Amen. There will be a new manifestation of the power of God. Amen. Amen. And this time somebody is explained, expecting the demons to roll. You say that that one we can do it. But this time I'm, I'm looking for different manifestations. Said that we heal the sick. We said, oh, that one we do it. Whenever we want to heal the sick, we heal the sick. But this time I, I am at my workplace. Amen. There is a child of God in this company now. 
That's Amen. why that's what Daniel was doing. The Bible said that they tried everybody. Nobody had a solution. Amen. And there was a decree to kill all the wise men. And Daniel said that no. Why did the king say such a harsh words? I'm here. I'm the child of God. I'm connected Amen. with the greater than the greatest. I'm connected Amen. with the mightier than the mightiest. Amen. And Daniel Amen. said that it is time to demonstrate God's power. Amen. It is time to Amen. demonstrate God's power. Amen. I'm talking about today. I'm talking about this season. I'm talking about your days. Amen. Amen. God is Amen. about to use you to solve problems that people can't solve. Amen. Amen. You are about to stand out. Amen. I've told you a story. You no, know, one day, many years ago, when I was preaching in the streets of Johannesburg, I went to the streets. I will be giving every Tuesday, I will be preaching every every Thursday and preaching and giving both during the night. Then there was this place. I'm preaching that particular night. I'm praying that particular night. And there was a man sitting in the street and he tells me, Pastor, you prayed for me and God blessed me with a job. I said, what? He said, yes, you prayed for me. God bless me. With it. But I'm surprised. He's still sleeping in the street. He said, yes, I've not yet paid. At work, they want to pay me. I'm not God. As God is the one who makes fulfillment. Amen. I did so. I prayed. The other day, you know, I'm in the streets again and I'm preaching. I'm preaching in the streets. I'm surprised. People that I'm preaching to now, they are smoking their dachas. Yes, they are smoking their dachas there. They are not even paying attention. They are talking by themselves. But because I've got the passion to win soul, I continue in preaching. As I'm preaching like that, I'm surprised there's a man who came and kneeled down. He gave me, he kneeled down and faced the pastor. He said, kneel down, he says, I'm preaching there. He said, ah, pastor, you remember me? I'm the man whom you prayed for and got a job. But this time, I'm no longer staying in the streets. I'm staying in the flat. I've got a bed. The day that I saw him in the street, he was covering himself with a card box, with a sack. This time he says that, no, I'm not in the streets. I've got a flat, I have got a blanket, I've got a bed. This time I bought a TV. And he said that God has done a miracle. So he said that, and Pastor, the good news is that I'm no longer in that position that I used to be. He says that I'm a supervisor. Amen. When he's narrating to me a story, he says that it is work. At the construction work that they were busy with, construction site, another person stuck the machine. Nobody could take it out. Said, Can I try? And he tried out the machine out of the problem. Amen. And he was promoted Amen. to be a supervisor. Amen. Amen. Oh, the testimony, that testimony going on until his friend also, I saw him there and he got a job put by that friend also. But I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say that <laughs> there is somebody, God is about to connect, who is about to create a problem where you are. He's about to create a problem, he's about to allow the problem, but that you are go only one going to solve. There is going... <laughs> <laughs> the Bible says that whatever we bind here on earth is bound in heaven. God is saying that you are about to shine. Amen. Because after Amen. Th when you have solved that problem, you are about to stand Amen. out. 
I see companies depending in you. I see businesses depending in you. Amen. I'm not. The Bible talks about something which is very, very profound about Samuel. The Bible says, with Samuel, God said that. God said, the Bible, by the time of Samuel, his words did not fall down. Amen. I'm Amen. that kind of man of God that I'm talking to your life. That yes, the God is going to create a scenario for you to stand out. Amen. So Amen. that you can be elevated. Amen. Mm, I don't know who I'm talking Amen. to. I'm saying somebody's about to be promoted. Amen. Unmerited faith. God works that way. Amen. Ask how Amen. Joseph was promoted from a prisoner to a prime minister. It was a problem that no Sangoma in Egypt could solve. It was a problem that no wise man could explain. Amen. But God appeared Amen. and manifest through Joseph. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm prophesying over your life. Amen. I'm prophesying over your life. I'm speaking things that are going to come to pass. Amen. If you don't receive Amen. it, I receive it. Amen. Um, I'm saying somebody will stand up. Amen. Amen. God of Daniel still exists. Amen. As the Bible said that God Amen. said that I am the Lord and I change not. He doesn't change. Hallelujah. What he have done for Joseph, he can do it for you. Amen. What he have done for Daniel, he can do it for you. Amen. I'm saying your qualification won't matter. Amen. Your experience won't matter. Amen. But you are about to be elevated. Amen. Amen. The Amen. mighty anointing of wisdom is about to be working in you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This afternoon, God sent me to talk to you. Amen. God sent me to talk to our life. Amen. God sent me to come and orchestrate. Amen. That's what I'm doing. That there is going to be problem that you are the one with a solution. Amen. Hmm. Amen. I see somebody being paid a lot of money. Amen. Uh, Amen. I'm saying I see Amen. somebody being paid a lot of money. Amen. Because the company Amen. is going to be, you are about to be a pillar of places. Amen. 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 From today, there's somebody you will never know retrenchment for the rest of your life. Amen. Amen. Because you are going to be Amen. the pillar. Amen. Who? Hey, I don't know who's the CEO. Who will say that? This one I must keep. Amen. Give him whatever Amen. he wants. He must. Stay. Amen. Amen. If you want a house, give him a house. Amen. If you want a car, Amen. give him a car. Amen. If you want to double his salary, like double it. Amen. But this one, Amen. I keep. Amen. Amen. That is what Pharaoh Amen. did to Joseph. Amen. He's saying that he make a, a, a foreigner and he make a prisoner to be his second in charge. Amen. And he become a prime Amen. minister. I'm saying to you, we are about to be elevated by fire by force in Jesus' name. Amen. From today, Amen. I anoint you to be a problem solver in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Problem solutions are going to come like a revelation. Because the angel will come in your room and give you solution when you are asleep. Amen. The angel will come. When that angel has come,
calm and you won't be able to sleep. That angel now and then, if I've got a problem, he comes. Last night, I could not sleep. And God said Amen. that in this problem, go and do one, two, three, four. It is not a ministerial uh, solution. It's something that I'm going to do at work. Amen. That a lot of engineers have been doing wrong. Amen. But I'm going to go there by revelation. Amen. I don't know whether you are Amen. hearing what I'm saying. Amen. I say we are anointed to be great in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm. I'm saying you are anointed to thrive. Amen. Today, Amen. that anointing is on your head. Amen. That anointing is on your life. Amen. 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 I don't know who God has called me to touch your career, your qualifications, but I see abundance of good things. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Amen. Can you say my day is blessed? My day is blessed. My family is blessed. My family is blessed. My career is blessed. Our countries are blessed. Our countries are blessed. Everything is turning around for my good. Everything is turning around for my good. I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be broke in my life. I will never be broke in my life. Say prosperity is mine. Prosperity is mine. Favor is mine. Favor is mine. Favor is mine. Say devil. Devil. Take off Amen. your hand from my everything. Say, I lose angels now. Angels, bring my harvest, my miracles, my testimonies, my jobs, my money. Angels, represent me, present me, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, say Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Lord, you are my Savior, wash me with your blood, Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Protect me from today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. Say may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love shall follow me. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. To those who are in this service today, I want to say to you, congratulations. Go and prosper. Go and succeed. Go and rise. Amen. And the sky Amen. is not the limit. Amen. Go and be the head. Amen. Not the tail. Amen. You are anointed with the anointing of greatness in Jesus' name. Amen. In your Amen. department, you are about to stand out in Jesus' name. Amen. By the Amen. power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 
there will be angels enabling you. Amen. Know Amen. that there will be the Holy Ghost enabling you. Amen. Whenever Amen. you are faced with anything that you have to do, Amen. remember Amen. these words. Amen. Remember there are angels helping you. Amen. The more you remember, Amen. it will be as if you are activating them. Amen. Because they, whatever you are doing, they will take charge. Akiava, Akiava, Akiaro, Sakiato, Skabaha. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Have a blessed and a successful day in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bye bye.